if this is the part I'm thinking of, this is probably the coolest part of this entire game. It is phenomenal. Welcome back everyone, here we are again for part 4 of playing Alan Wake through Spooky Season. If you guys don't remember what happened, stay tuned for the recap, and we're going to get into it in just a second. So, crack open your favorite beverage, and let's get into it. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running, I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Our purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was at the very end. And then, oh <gasps> yes. And then we got pulled out of the water. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No. Wife's you... death? You lie. You're suffering from various uh... symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. He always wakes up like that. Has anybody ever actually woken up like that? Sometimes I get the jolt and I'm just like, ugh. You know, but I'm never like, <gasps> Grandy, whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Oh. Nice room, though. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Can I fight him? Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Ah. Quite right, that's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Very foggy and smoky. Right below us, I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. It's funny. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. The Earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? 
What do you guys think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. <laughs> Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him. Don't Zane. Throw. He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Never. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. I don't... Looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy love part hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had to come. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! Recording. Get out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? Or I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split! Barry? Oh, oh shit, it is Barry. Time. Barry, man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me. Oh, well, we missed that. But... These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Oh, jeez. with us well what was that smirk do you guys see that
this part. So out of breath. Doors, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! evil guys. Holy crap. Whoa. Don't trust Emil. Oh, that was the doctor, Emil Hartman. Yeah, 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 yeah. channel you don't want anyone fighting. Jeez. Oh, it's the... Oh my god, it's the doctor. I forgot about this. birds.
think it's the next little bit. stuff. Who leaves all this stuff out here? Let's go, get me the heck out of here. Lord have mercy. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say oh, something like that. Oh, I remember what happens there. Big time you guys are gonna love it. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift and I'm gonna live in it. Oh, look at the, the clinic. Just enveloped. Wow. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Ow. I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! What are, you, what are you saying look out for? You're the one that's driving. Get that! Are you okay? I hit 
hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, help! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! You're the flare, Barry! Help! Yeah! Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Side of the driver. That's not a good sign. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah! No! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah! Go in there! Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again and, uh, for the moonshine, you know? It, it makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie. <laughs> the best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Just as much as anyone else who's been more than anyone. It was. Stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Good actors. In a horror story. Make it happen. I could climb out through the broken window. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Have to get out now.
Ai, ai, ai. saw the stage. If this is the part I'm thinking of, this is probably the coolest part of this entire game. It is phenomenal. Let's go, boys! part of the game. So cool. the coolest part of the game right there that was awesome yes sir rock and roll capital of america 
I want to find out what song that was, because that was freaking dope. for the price of one, baby! Oh, no, you don't. You won't escape me now. Homie, don't play that way. Yes, sir. Valhalla! Come on, one more gig. Look at this. That is cool. Old gods know the truth. See that? Interesting. The lights are out. Guess we better check the fuse box. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on. Sir, of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. A 
okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer. Correct. I'm a if writer. I wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. <laughs> That's right. Ten I books could. a year. Well, they could, cause I'm a writer. What? I'm a writer. What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe <laughs> off of this quick and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember being surprised Alice? to see the cabin Alice? dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remember thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice. Jagger had Alice, and so she had me. I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She wanted was to help you write. 
You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Why, though? Why, why this story? Why does she yes. want a book written? I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh. So, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I am here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I am here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my Barbara a long time ago. She looks so old. Woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, folks, that is the end of episode four. And some great moments out at the Anderson farm, and some moments leading up to it. Um... Probably one of my favorite uh, sections of the game out of the entire game. Um, tell me what you guys think. If you guys are starting to figure it out, how it all works. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And stay tuned for episode 5 coming real soon. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.